guys, I wanted to do a quick review of the two of the Madewell um, leather vertical totes that I got recently. Um, they're both the, you know, bucket style north to south shape. So versus your traditional horizontal east to west. Um, and I haven't seen any reviews for these bags on YouTube, so I wanted to post one to help people out if you're considering buying one of these. So this is the Madewell bucket tote, the large size, not the small crossbody version that they have. It has an adjustable handle and it's about 13 inches tall. Um, I'm not sure about the rest of the dimensions. They're all on a website. This is um, on Madewell website as well as Nordstrom. And this one is, I believe it's called um, Madewell Essentials Tote. And this is the one with two sets of handles, shoulder and hand carry. So uh, first, uh, I think I'm gonna start by uh, comparing the two and um, pointing out the similarities. So this one I had longer. I've had it for about a few weeks now. I've been using it every day as my daily bag. Um, obviously they're similar shape. Uh, I think the, uh, the other tote, the brown tote, I'm gonna call it the brown tote, uh, is slightly larger, just by very little bit. So this one, they're, they're both made out of smooth leather, kind of on the thinner side with a little shine to them. I know they look much more shiny in the video, but in the real life, it's like a very subtle sheen to it so they don't look cheap or anything. Smooth leather, definitely prone to scratching. However, I'll get to how I deal with that later because I don't like my back scratched. Um, but this one is empty right now. That's why it's trying to slouch. It does sit on its own, empty, but um, uh, it's not it's not a structure bag by any means. It's definitely very, very soft. It doesn't have any feet on the bottom. It has this wide adjustable strap, adjustable on one side, very chic. And it has the magnetic closure at the top. I really like that I made well switch to this type of closure versus the old uh, stud and hole type of situation they had that was really difficult to use and I think most people just didn't bother with it. But in the recent years, I noticed that most of their bag comes with this leather covered magnet and I love that. It almost closes on its own. And then it has one slip pocket on the inside. It's always loose. The inside is unfinished online. That's kind of like their signature thing. The pocket on the inside is very generous. I have a ginormous phone, um, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, and it's, it's one of the biggest models uh, on the market. And here's the case for it. Of course, I'm filming on it. And it fits easily in the pocket. However, if you put a phone into that pocket while the bag is empty, it tends to collapse because the phone's too heavy. Um, now, this one, similar shape. Um, I have my things in it now. Similar bottom, no feet. It does have two sets of straps, one for shoulder, one for hand carry. It has uh, the same magnetic closure, although, on my bag, and I got this on sale from Nordstrom Rack, it seems that the magnet is quite quite a bit weaker, like significantly weaker. When I pick it up, it opens up. And plus it's double handle. So this one is single handle and it doesn't open up on its own. So I'm not sure what's going on with the strength of the magnet just not being the same. And then you can carry it to a top handle. This is long enough to go in the crook of your arm and then you can also tuck in the handles that you're not using. If you want it on the shoulder and want a cleaner look, just let the short ones drop on the inside and the magnet will keep them inside. And vice versa, if you wanna use it by the short handles and you don't want the long ones flopping around on the outside for more of a cleaner look, you can have those hang on the inside. Uh, the difference is, uh, is that this one has an exterior pocket. It's very, very generous. Once again, fits gigantic phone, although it does show through a little bit. So if that doesn't bother you, good spot for a phone. 
it pokes through due to you know how thin the leather is and that it's um, smooth and not pebbled on the interior it has also similar pocket to the other bag also this slip pocket and then the phone also fits in that one although it's a little bit tighter fit than, than in the black bag so that's just the kind of main features now I want to point out that this bag while empty sits better on its own it's definitely not structured it's definitely soft not exactly like um, a hobo that falls over or just can't stand at all due to the flat bot bottom it does stand a bit and it stands way better when it's filled I'll show you that in just a little bit you know they look kind of funny when they're empty this one doesn't really want to stand when it's empty so just so you you know what you're getting then I wanted to show that both fit a 13 inch laptop easily this one fits just fine and it even goes under the magnetic flap which enables you to close the bag with the laptop in it um, I wouldn't put a laptop just on its own in the bag I usually put it in a thin sleeve so it would fit the laptop covered in a thin protective sleeve that just protects it from the element and scratches it would not probably fit any kind of thicker padded case or I mean it would still fit in the bag you just won't be able to close the top so it would be just you know open and then with this one it fits even better because I believe this bag is slightly bit taller so you can see how it doesn't even reach the magnet so I think that in this one it would fit 15 inch easily and it would fit this one with the padded good protective case I always put it in a case because I don't want it scratched and sometimes I need to take out my laptop and leave it behind so I don't want it sitting naked wherever I'm leaving it so okay uh, let's move on to what fits so after about three days of using this bag just the way that it is I realized that I can't find anything in it except for my phone which goes in that pocket so that makes it easy to find everything else I would fumble around looking for even though I use the pouches to organize my small items and I use all the light color accessories, I still wasn't able to find things easily in it. This tote being a bucket tote, so it's deep and it's dark on the inside, obviously it's black. So even having light color accessories made it fumble, made me fumble for, for my items and um, it was just becoming a bit of a hassle. So at that point I remembered that I do own a bag organizer. This one I have is from company Base Travel. It was a limited edition, they don't make it anymore, but it's very similar to everything else that's on the market out there. Um, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them on Etsy. A lot of times they're made of felt in multiple sizes and colors, or nylon like this one. This is like a wipeable nylon. It has a built-in sunglass case in like a bunch of compartments even this one on the side which is meant for a water bottle and when I put it in a bag it just leaves me right enough room to carry a water bottle if I wanted to I usually don't tend to carry water bottles in my purse but if I wanted to I could it also would fit like a compact umbrella and then there's more pockets on this side and of course my things are inside and this one fits perfectly into this bag and not only helps me find things easily but it also uh, helps it stand up a little better and gives it a little structure although the organizer itself is not like it's a little pliable it's not like super stiff but it fits really nicely if you can see I have room on the side so it doesn't like touch if I put it up against one side it still has room left on the other side for a water bottle or an umbrella my phone usually goes in here and then it stands way better on its own it still has a little nice slouch when you wear it it does not interfere it doesn't feel any different 
with the organizer in it. Just make sure when you're looking for a noise organizer, don't go with the one that's too high. So this one is about like slightly taller than half of the bag. And then it doesn't show anything. And it's very comfortable to wear on your shoulder. Your elbow rests here. It still has a little bit of that, I think they call it like a smile or something when it's a slouchy bag. So very, very nice. I know it's still black, so I don't really have like improved visibility per se, because it's black on black, but at least it's got so many compartments, I know where my things are. So it takes me one second to find my keys or anything else in it. I'm trying to show it better. Um, just because I know exactly where items are located, so it's really easy for me to reach in and grab things. And then, as you can probably, as you already, it's probably already guessed that this would uh, be a fairly easy transfer into this bag, since this bag is slightly larger. So I think that's what they were originally invented for, like many years ago, when they started coming out with the bag organizers when I first saw them. Uh, it's probably been over 10 years now, and I think the whole idea was for, like, to make it easier for you to switch. If you're, if you're a bag collector, if you like to change your bags, um, it would make it easier for you to switch your things instead of dumping one bag and one bag's contents into the next. you like, supposed to take it out and switch. So, this one fits even better. Obviously, a little bit easier to see. Like I said, the magnet... To my liking is too weak it really bothers me I think that I like everything about this bag except for the strength of the magnet is just not there especially because it's a two-handle bag so like there is almost no resistance when I go to pick it up it just opens on its own where the other bag more like closes on its own when you're trying to pack it and you get annoyed so I think that it wouldn't be an issue in this bag if it had um, a weaker magnet because it's one handle and it's under your arm. But this one, like, I carry it to my car. I used it today. And as soon as I set it down, like, it opens on its own and stays like this. So I'm not really sure if it's a defect or if they're all like this, this model. So I originally contemplated buying this one in this color well not originally like i had this one and i liked it after two weeks i liked it so much i was gonna also get it in this color because i'm a hoarder and they do have this this style in this color and i was like oh i'm just gonna get it for summer months and they're both neutral and they're both beautiful this is really the only color that i've been expanding into from from old black bags i used to have I start playing around with different shades of brown, cognac, caramel, things like that. So this one is great. Uh, the weakness of the magnet does bother me. I don't know if I should try to order another one and see if this one is defective and then another one would be better. Or if they're all like that, I can't really speak for that. But other than that, as soon as I saw this on sale at Nordstrom Rack and I was like, why would I have two of the same bag in different colors? Although I do have some other ones. If you've seen any of my other videos, I have multiple ba multiple of the same bag in different colors. But I saw this and I was like, okay, well, this is same but different, you know. Why not get this? So um, if you want to know which one I prefer, it's kind of hard to tell. Like I said, I got this one on quite a bit of sale. This one was full price. Um, I think this one is a little more chic. I know it doesn't look that way. In photos and videos it kind of looks really plain but trust me I've been wearing it every single day and it looks very like I think somebody said in one of the reviews I read quiet luxury yeah it's like one of those really expensive designer bags with no logos that's the vibe you get from this bag where this one is just a simple tote so simple unlined leather regular tote that you know you can kind of beat up on this one I did get quite a few scratches on it during the first week of use both in the front and in the handle but 
What I usually do when I get the bag first, I put a leather conditioner all over it because I've noticed that the more moisturized the leather is, the less it's prone to scratching, even when it's smooth leather. I obviously, in, in other instances, I prefer pebbled leather. It just doesn't show scratches as easily and it's much easier to work with if you do get a scuff or a scratch and you wanna fix it. It's much easier to condition and touch up if you have to, uh, where you know smooth leather shows everything. But again, it's kinda of like, think of it as like your skin, right? If your skin is very dry and you go and you have an itch, you go scratch yourself, you can see the marks. If your skin is nice and moisturized uh, with the lotion, you will not have the same effect. So it's very, very similar to this. So don't be afraid of scratches. And I'm not talking about deep scratches that took the, you know, the top layer of, um, of leather off or, or color. I'm not talking about your cat playing with it or dog getting too excited to see you and jumping up. I'm talking about like scuffs, scuffs of running into objects while you're wearing it on your shoulder, running into a wall, into furniture. It does scuff up. It is obvious, but as soon as you put some leather lotion on it and massage it nicely and gently, it goes away. And then you just buff it out with the um, dry microfiber, like a dry uh, half of microfiber towel. If you have like lotion on one half, then and you have the other half. Uh, once the lotion is all absorbed, you just buff it out and they go away unless it's something way more serious. So that's how I maintain my bag and keep them looking nice and uh, neat. I don't really like them looking beat up and worn out. Of course, the corners are always an issue. Black is easy to deal with because you can condition, you can touch it up with shoe polish that's black and they're gonna look as good as new it's a little bit more challenging on other color leathers which is why i've been staying away from them for years but if you precondition before you start using it if you precondition the corners make sure they're nice and moisturized it should uh, make them last longer and look better longer so i hope this was helpful uh feel free to ask any questions in the comments i do my best to answer when I see those. I am not a professional YouTuber or bag reviewer. I do my best to help people make their choices, uh, especially if I get something I wasn't sure what I was getting into and wasn't sure if I was going to keep. So I am keeping both of, both of these. Like I said, I'm not sure if I might try a different one of these in hopes that the magnet would be stronger and return this one or like exchange or if it's just the thing with this model, but it's not like a terrible thing. It still stays shut a little bit. I just, I prefer the strength of this one because it doesn't randomly open up on me. And this one being manipulated more with two handles, I don't want it opening up. So anyways, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.